Have you ever heard 22 veterans die by suicide every single day? Well, that number is an estimated number. If you want to learn more about that number, then you can go to the Veterans Annual Suicide Report where they can give you more accurate data on what the suicide numbers are. But because 22 is the most prevalent number that we all know of, I'm just going to stick with 22 today. So logically speaking, that would be 8,030. 8,030 estimated suicides happening every single year. To put that in perspective, the war in Iraq lasts just around eight years and claimed the lives of just over 4,000 military members. Just imagine, veteran suicides is doubling that number in just one year. And just when you thought this was problematic, we now know the correlation between suicide and combat. So I also ask you this, do you think there's a high correlation, a low correlation, or a medium correlation between combat and suicide? Well, there is zero correlation between combat and suicide, meaning that the sailor, the soldier, the airman, the marine who sat behind his desk his entire military career is just as likely and sometimes more likely to commit suicide than the veteran who's seen combat, who's been to war or has PTSD. Now, let me be clear. This is not an attempt to say that one thing is greater than the next because PTSD is real. Trauma from, from war is real. It's just that the sad new reality is there's a new monster in the room. And this monster is saying combat or no combat all veterans are at risk. And my goal is to explore this so we can have better perspective to fight this monster together. Once a Marine, always a veteran.